Hey everyone, this is Swayati. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can practice delta neutral strategies using Backenzo. As we know that delta neutral is like an indispensable tool in every professional optional trader arsenal. Traders, they seek delta neutral position to limit their exposure to changing market conditions. So I can say that delta neutral is like a balanced approach to trading or the investing and it can be used to hedge so that account remains flat regardless of the fluctuations in the underlying market. Please note that the calls, they have the positive delta and uh, puts, they have the negative delta between zero and minus one. Delta neutral strategies, they use collective position in a portfolio to neutralize one another to achieve a net zero position uh, of a delta. Let us understand with an example. If a portfolio consisted of a one, position with a positive delta of 0 0.50 and a new position you have added with a negative delta of minus 0 0.50 to create delta neutral portfolio. So 0 0.50 call option minus 0 0.50 put option comes out to be 0. That means these two positions call option and put option 0 0.5 and minus 0.5 they are offsetting plus and negative delta so that overall position of a delta comes out to be zero. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can backtest delta neutral and how you can manage leg target and stop loss with respect to the Greek value. So for that, we'll go to the interface, back into interface. Just click on the add portfolio button. Do you see this button here, premium or a Greek leg? Just tick this box, that is premium and the Greek leg and click on the add leg button. This way you can add the legs. So because it's an option selling strategy, so I am selling both the legs. One is CE and other is PE leg, right? This setting will prove to be very handy if you want to make delta neutral leg. You can create leg using this add leg button which can be uh, based on Greek value and you can even set target and the stop loss based on the Greeks as well. Okay, this I will showcase it to you. Now let us understand with an example first. I will take you to the Excel sheet. So for example, for the ATM CE leg, Current delta is 0.51, right? And you have set target as 0.7. And the stop loss you have mentioned as 0.3. And on target and stop loss, you have uh, a specified re-execute leg. Now, in this case, whenever my leg target, leg delta goes above 0.7 or it goes below 0.3, then back in so will square off current leg and it will re-execute current leg as per the current ATM. Guys, please refer to my re-execution video for the better understanding. I'll also post the video link on the description box. Now, let us go to the Backenzo interface to see how this functionality works, okay? So, now we have already added the legs uh, based on the premium, right? Now, how to achieve that functionality? Just uh, click on this uh, button that is a strike. Herein, you can select any value type. I am selecting nearest delta, right? You can specify any value that comes into your mind. This can be used to select any uh, nearest possible delta. So suppose you have entered nearest possible value of 0.27, okay? 0.27, you have uh, entered the value for the CE cell leg, right? Now, back in so we'll check for all the deltas of the strike as selected in the maximum depth. And whichever is nearest to 0.27 will be selected. It is very important to note that for a CE delta, CE delta is always positive. Okay, it is always a positive number. And for a PE delta, it is always a negative. Do you see this button here, condition? It is visible only in case of nearest premium and nearest delta. Do you see these six value types here? Premium, nearest premium, delta, IV, theta and nearest delta. Here you can select the condition uh, like above equal, below equal or any. In this case, Bakinzo will select the strike which will be near to 0.27 of the delta. If you choose above equal, then it will try to find out the strike which uh, has the delta value 
above 0.27. And if you want below equal, then in that case, it will try to find out the strikes which has the delta value below 0.27, which is your mentioned value. Right? Now, let us talk about this maximum depth. This specifies the distance from the ATM. Suppose you mention maximum depth as 5. Then back in so we'll check all the strikes starting from the ATM till the distance of 5 depth as per the site selection. Side is this, both ITM, OTM. Here you can set depth side. Suppose you only want to select the leg inside of ITM. So back in so we'll check only ITM strikes, okay? Till the maximum depth. And if you select both, in this case, back in so we'll check in both the directions. Use this field very wisely. That is the maximum depth. Why am I saying so? Because this may add some delay in the execution. That matter that doesn't matter much in the case of backtesting, but still, uh, why am I saying so? Why it will add delay? Because if you select maximum depth as let's say 18 or 20, then if required, back in zoom, we need to check up to 20 depth slides, right? And this may add some delay. So that's the reason we always say use this field very wisely. That is maximum depth. So that's the reason I'm reducing it to, let's say, 11 maximum depth. So for the CE cell leg, I am keeping nearest delta as 0.27 in the positive, right? Condition as any maximum depth as 11 and side both. Similarly, for, the, for this leg, that is PE cell leg, I am keeping value type as uh, nearest delta and this time I have to mention it with the minus sign. So to offset that position, we have to take it in minus 0.27. Which you have to take in 0.27 CE, uh, ke leg minus lena hai. then only it will try to neutralize it, right? To make it a delta neutral strategy, simple. Condition I'm keeping it as any maximum depth I'm reducing it to 11 and side I'm keeping it as both, right? Now you can even set target and the stop loss on the basis of grief. So because I'm making a delta neutral strategy, so I'm choosing delta for the target of this leg and uh, delta for target for this leg. The stop loss also same. Okay, now herein you can select the target value and the SL value here, right? So target value uh, for this CE leg, I am uh, keeping it as 0.17 in the uh, positive sign and uh, SL value 0.35, right? For this PE leg, delta should be in negative. So obviously target value and the SL value should be in negative. So minus 0.15 minus point uh, let's say three five right i'll save this portfolio with the name delta neutral herein you on target if you want to re-execute it because re-execution you can use it on target as well as on a stop loss we have given you the provision wherein you can set the re-execution both on target as well as on a stop loss right so from here in on target, you can select to re-execute leg, click on OK button. Okay. For the stop loss also, you can set re-execution. Do you see this button here? This is a count controller. How many times you want it to be re-executed, you can just mention the figure here. If you want two times re-execution, you can mention here two. If you want three times, then mention it here as three, right? Now save this portfolio. And my portfolio is saved. I'll quickly showcase it to you, the synopsis of it. So for the CE leg, entry 0.27 and PE entry as 0.27. Uh, sorry, it's, uh, I'll correct it. Minus 0.27 and... Uh, Right, and target for the C is uh, 0.17 and the stop loss is 0.35 for the PE uh, cell leg. Target is point minus 0.15 and minus 0.35 is the stop loss. Right now, my portfolio is saved. I'll enable it, recalibrate it, run it over simulator, 
and just choose date of your choice from this calendar. I'm going ahead with 16 December 2022 and click on the play button. Simple, right? Now use this to expand your portfolio. Use this also to expand your option portfolio, right? Just drag to right hand side. And herein you will find under the grid log that a strike 18,550 is selected for the leg one, right? Because I have a specified nearest delta value as 0.27. So, this strike ka delta 0.25 select hoker hai. And leg two a strike selected is 18,200. For the nearest delta value as minus 0.27 and here in this is particular strike, ka, strike ka jo delta hai, it came out to be minus 0.28, right? This is the delta value, current delta value of these two legs and the target I have specified for this leg as uh, 0.17 and uh, the stop loss as 0.35. For this PE leg, target is minus 0.25. 15 and minus 0.35, right? So if it hits the target or the stop loss, it will execute it. It will re-execute it. Guys, please watch my re-execution video. I'll post the video link over the description. So that will help you to connect the dots, okay? I'll increase the speed so that I can showcase it to you how re-execution functionality works, right? So I have increased the speed to 32x times. Now, as you can see that uh, under the grid log, you will find that 10.44 a.m. Greek stop loss minus 0.35 got hit for the delta on the value of minus 0.35 on the user for this leg. That is 18,200 PE leg, right? So that means uh, now the leg delta, if it goes above point uh, minus 0.15 or goes below minus 0.35, then in that case, back in will square of current leg and it will re-execute the current leg as per the current ATM, right? So that means 18,200 PE stop loss got hit, that is 0 0.35, minus 0 0.35, right? And that's the reason it re-executed this leg as per the current ATM. 18,150 was the current ATM at the time of re-execution. That's why it has chosen that strike. And it has done the re-execution as per the current ATM. So this is how the re-execution works on target as well as on a stop loss, right? So I hope you find this uh, video useful. Happy backtesting with Backenzo. Stay tuned for more informative videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.